It's a time for... Hmm, which one shall I open? Oh, it's like my birthday with a package from China. So let's go. <laughs> Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So when it comes to Neo Geo AES, this is absolutely crazy expensive when it comes for collecting games. However, playing on the Neo Geo is absolutely a lot of fun. For the people who have no idea, Neo Geo AES is actually a game system that is based on the arcade. In other words, we do have like real arcade in a game system and that's quite unique. Well, I did manage to get myself all kinds of different games. We do have different regions. So most of the games you can actually see here are around under the 100 euro dollar price mark. But if you're going to be deep diving into the rabbit hole of AES, you will very quickly see that most of the games are 150, 300, 500 and thousands of dollars. Where I love slowly expanding the collection of the Neo Geo AES, yeah, there will be a very quick point in the collection that I just need to stop buying because I'm not going to be spending like two, three hundred dollars on a single game. So there we having the multi game card version number three, series three. Those names, oh, they are so confusing. But what is this? This is just an card weights that contains 161 games or actually when you're going to be looking closely over here very quickly there are a lot of let's say well, i want to say double games more like speci special versions plus version and yeah this is one of those things that i find always a little bit of a bummer and the game amount even if this is version 3 it's still the same so what is going on with the neo geo so over here at the right we're having the mvs cartridges the mvs cartridges comes in translucent and just black and I think they are the only colors you're having when it comes to the original cartridges. So what you can actually do is buy a separate converter and that will convert the MVS cartridges to the AES so we can use these on let's say the game console. There's another cheap way to play where the converter costs like two, three hundred dollars but the cheap games are quite cheap. But it's not the same experience because when it comes to the AES games it's like the same having like a Super NES or a Mega Drive game that comes complete with manual. The cartridges are absolutely massive and that is one of those very cool ways when the Neo Geo you're slapping these massive cartridges in. If you're thinking of plugging it straight into the system that will not work because the cartridges are completely different. Where both of them have two layers but the size is different. So one of the cool things is the manual like with the Mega Drive games where all kinds of information. Depending on the region you're buying that also depends on what kind of say, language you're having inside of the manual. But I love the artwork. Some of, I think most of the games for my collection will have actually these, let's say, manuals and everything in here. And after all of these years, I'm still flabbergasted about it. So what is also very cool that we do have like new releases like Xeno Crisis for the AES. Yep, we have new releases and that is absolutely awesome. So we're having a new game, but don't get me wrong, this is not like a game that you can buy for 60 or 70 dollars. This was around like 200, 250 dollars if you recall it correctly. But this is just a very expensive way to play when it comes to Neo Geo. It's just expensive, but beside the multi-game card, yeah, but there are many different ways to play. However, Let's take a close look at the multi-game card and let's see if it's any good and is it even a fun addition to the collection. But how about the multi-game card? What are we getting? So first of all, this, does, this doesn't have a manual whatsoever and the cartridge is the same shape and everything like an original game. So what they did with this version number three, they did some revisions of the PCB, making it more compatible with different kind of systems and getting rid of some of the glitches. But I can tell you, still a lot of problems are occurring in this cartridge. But it's kind of naughty that they implemented the as key made in Japan. So they are still having that. But there's nothing official about this, of course. The downside is like when you're looking at the plastics, it's really bad. So they should also fix it if you're looking at those old cartridges we didn't have the problem at all. But however, there is another thing you need to know before you're getting into the multi-game card. Because otherwise it can have give you, it will, it will give you some problems. And if you want to buy it a little bit cheaper than normal, you can also buy it without a box. And that makes it absolutely like $15-$20 cheaper. 
Okay, but there is another thing you need to know. You need to get yourself a different power supply. They are selling this as a bundle, so they will giving you the power supply, but there's one thing you need to know, and that is a very important ste step that you need to take. So, and that brings us back to the Neo Geo itself. At the bottom over here, you will find a kind of a model number. And this is what's very important because with this type of model number, you need to buy yourself the right kit. Otherwise you're going to be frying your main board inside the Neo Geo. But I'm not the biggest fan of these like aftermarket, but yeah, let's say power supplies. But this seems to be a very nice quality one. But okay, so this kit, we can just use it on the Neo Geo or this particular Neo Geo type, slap it in and we can play some games. So let's see what we're getting. But for the first part, I'm going to be using an LCD monitor with the retro scaler for Mega Drive 1 or 2 and SNK. This is an RGBS upscaler, and I can tell you this thing seems to be working just fine. I did a full review about it. If you want to know more, you can always check it out after this video. But let's chit chat about the multi game card and then let's do a quick overview of the list itself. So, when it comes to this multi game card, there is nothing being changed or updated about the game list itself. And that is quite unfortunate because this is another opportunity they completely dropped the ball. And when it, some of the games are okay, you can see all the King of Fighters are here, but it's absolutely one huge mess. So when looking at the game list itself, they didn't do a lot of changes here. However, this seems to be on alphabetic order. So it's kind of weird that they didn't even implement Art of Fighting 1 on this. So you do have like a lot of games you're still missing out on. And there's a little bit of a downside. Like over here have both the breakers. The plus versions are have like an extra addition to it. Think about like instant cheating mode. And we do have a lot of them. And I wish they didn't do that every single time and just swap out those games with other ones they were missing. So you can see having all kinds of weird things like Magic 1 and 2. And the list goes on and on and on. So an other addition, I think they changed out the name with this one. This is called Turbo Plus. It's kind of strange that they went for that. Normally it was called Plus only. So where also they have like swapped out the PCB or they're claiming to be there's some minor changes over here. Summer Shadow 1 is well on there. But one of the games I was missing was some Goku. Yeah, send Goku in over here, number two. But if you want to be booting it up, so let's say we're choosing the plus version, it will automatically boot up. If you want to get into the main menu, you need to shut down the console itself. But for this is a great example. We don't have any Uni BIOS, so we cannot cheat whatsoever. We can just play the game as it is. But we do have the special extra characters. But you need to play through the games to see actually which game will have problems. But so far, so good. I can still remember that I have been messing with, let's say, the MVS multi game card and combining it with a converter on the AES. That was not a great success. So I'm happy that they went for a complete version that is just working plug and play without any weird converters whatsoever. So if you're looking at the version 1, 2, 3, there are a lot of differences between them or at least one, a lot of differences with when it comes to maybe the PCB itself. But when you're going to be looking closely, the game list is the same, but I did notice when the version 2 and 3 came out, the price of the older ones were becoming really cheap. So if you just want to have like a really, really cheap to the cheap solution, I would say get into like say the listing and see if you can find an older one. But with Neo Geo there are so many hidden gems. Some of the games has been ported to, let's say throughout, let's say different games. Let's say the Switch has some amazing library of games added from the old school days. But still it's a lot of fun to play these games on your original Neo Geo. But you're going to be paying a price for that. But this way you can throw out playing a lot of classic games like the Metal Slug ones. Oh boy, I've been playing this so much on different devices and games. How many times I've bought this game. And also a lot of fun to have on the MVS or AES.
Well, let's switch to the CRT because the system has been modified. We also have no scan lights. Beautiful, like a beautiful display comes out of this machine. However, the downside of this is that we don't have the option for the HDMI dongle. So let's get some infinite stuff going on over here and let's play some Metal Slug. Yep, yeah, it's absolutely cool to just enjoy these games with the UniBIOS and all of the cheat codes work just without any problem with the multi-game cards. So if you're thinking getting a UniBIOS Neo Geo with a multi-card, yep, you can use all of his glory and his fe features itself. With some shmups, we do have some interesting cheat codes going on over here. We have infinite lives, okay, that's fun. Play one, play two, max shot. So all kinds of cool things that we can implement in here. So you can see we have all of the power-ups instantly. That's just one cheating way, but it's a lot of fun. By the way, I'm still flabbergasted how good the audio quality is of some of these games. They look great, they sound great. Man, I love Neo Geo. You can already start a collection of multi-game cartridges for the AES when it comes to these versions because there are released a lot of different ones and not even talking about beside the 168 in one. But how about this new model? So where they have been changing all kinds of minor things, it's not like a, a, let's say a problem-free device or a cartridge. So there's one thing you need to take consideration. However, the game collection, I wish they went for a different approach with more games and just add those that are missing out. Thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this multi-game card. And it would be great to see you in the next video.